It ain't no way. I gotta find somebody else to try this. Does it taste like it's seasoned with 10 different seasonings? I'm trying a place called Hot Chicks in Dearborn, Michigan. Again. So I did a review on this restaurant probably a couple weeks ago. I'm trying a food truck called Hot Chicks in Dearborn, Michigan. The owner did not like it. Hell, the whole community of Dearborn did not like it. When I say they came for my they came for my but it was really beautiful seeing you guys come together and, and, and bash me in support of hot chicks. No problem with that. But just let you know, I don't give a Now, let me tell you why I'm back. When I order from this restaurant, I order through DoorDash. DoorDash's prices are about 3 to $4 higher. The owner of Hot Chicks does not have a website. And he felt like I should have went to his Instagram profile to look at the menu prices. And that is just the biggest crock of bullshit. You don't even have the basic necessities to run a goddamn business, which is the f website where people can come to to order food. Would you say you'd be working on that? And I still don't see it. Now to your point, it's only been a couple weeks, but I'm just letting you know, I don't see it. In my last video, I said the sauce is cost. But adding sauce to this would have been $2.99. Which I was majority wrong on. The sauces are free, but the cheese sauce costs. Which that's my fault. I should have been paying attention. I would take 100% blame on that. The main reason why I came back is because you made a comment that that makes sense. You feel as though there's no way I could have judged this food under the conditions I was in, which ladies and gentlemen, I had a stuffy nose. So you feel like due to my stuffy nose, it wasn't fair, which in my own opinion, you got a fair point. Even though I could still taste and smell, I respect your point. And most importantly, I'm fair. Maybe I shouldn't have judged your food with a stuffy nose. But we're gonna see right now. I ordered the exact same items that I ordered a couple weeks ago. Let's see if anything's changed. We have a chicken sando deluxe. Okay. Once again, this sandwich has lettuce, tomato, pickles, HC sauce, and cheese sauce. I think the last time I said it was just a basic chicken sandwich. This chicken sandwich is uh, it's pretty basic. And that's exactly what the f this is. A basic chicken sandwich. See, now I gotta go 100% raw with y'all asses. There's no f***ing way. There's 10 different seasonings in this damn chicken. It's simply no way. The sauce carries this sandwich point blank period. Without the sauce, this would be 110% garbage. Do you understand what I'm saying? God damn. The mac and cheese sando. Mm-hmm. Right. So you can get this sandwich. No heat, mild, medium heat, hot, and inferno. So we got a mild chicken patty with mac and cheese on a toasted bun. This chicken tastes a lot better than the original chicken with no heat. And I think I said this the last time, I'm sure this tastes better because there's actually some heat to it. When it comes to the mac and cheese, mm -mm. it's a little sweet, but that sweetness may be coming from the chicken. But all in all, this sandwich is good. This is the chicken wrap, the same exact chicken wrap I had the last time. This shit just pisses me off. It really upsets me though. So I'm 100%, right? Not sick, no sniffles, no nothing. This is the exact same chicken wrap that I had the last fucking time. It's no different. The chicken is mid. The sauce, once again, carries this sandwich. Without the sauce, the sandwich would be trash. 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 No, these are the chicken fries. The same chicken fries I had last time with no sauce. The sauce is right here, but I do want to try this by itself to see, does this taste like that 10 seasoning bull that you've been talking about? It ain't, it ain't no way. There's 10 different seasonings on this mother chicken. It ain't no way. Bro, this is just fried chicken with, with parsley. We got some sauce, HC sauce on the side. The sauce is decent. It's like a ketchup, a ketchup mayo based sauce. I wish it was a little bit sweeter, but it makes the chicken fries a hell of a lot better than what they are right now. Oh yeah, you got me pissed off now. I low key want to just grab a random person so they can try. I'm sorry y'all. I gotta find somebody else to try this. Y'all will not make me look like a fool out here. Hey, how you doing? Are you hungry? I'm doing this project, right? Where I'm eating a restaurant that I reviewed before. And I want you to try this chicken and let me know how it tastes to you. No, ma'am, it's not. Just take a bite out of that. Kind of like let it marinate a little bit, try it a little bit. Does it taste like it's seasoned with 10 different seasonings? No. 
Thank you. You can have it. Uh -uh. Okay. You don't want it? Uh -uh. Okay. Gotcha. So number one, with all due respect, sir, I, I respect you and your business, all right? Don't you ever come for my taste buds ever again. These taste buds right here uh, are elite. You understand me? Two, I will not be rating this restaurant today, but instead I'm gonna put the address right here. I want anybody that sees this video to please go try this place and tag me and tell me what you think. I felt like I did the right thing by going back, but at this point, I don't know what else to do. I love y'all, thank y'all for changing my life.